When you pick your tomatoes, if you want to keep them longer, you have to find a way of reducing the temperature. This is a problem throughout the world. As availability of electricity at village level can be a problem, ways have to be found to lower the temperature of this fragile crop. Tomatoes start to lose value for many reasons, and the price at the market can move up and down very quickly. So how can we reduce the temperature when faced with the heat of the sun? Some farmers at Dambata in Kano State, Nigeria, have used local mud bricks to make a very effective cooling chamber. When there is a tomato glut in the market and the prices are not very good, farmers will be able to bring tomatoes here. And when the prices increase, they can then go to the market. This cooling chamber is in the center of the village and has extra shade from a tree. The tree provides shade, which reduces the direct effect of the sun. This also has great significance in reducing the damage to the tomatoes. So how do you start to build a mud cooling chamber? The first decision is where to build your chamber. Normally it should be on level ground and preferably where there is some shade. As with any construction task, the key is to collect all of your materials at the site first, including your mud bricks, river sand and water. Make sure that you measure out the size of the chamber for the number of blocks you have. The principle is that there are two chambers to be constructed, with a gap between each wall of around the width of a brick. Start by digging a trench for the foundation, at least one block deep. This will stop the chances of the chamber being washed away during heavy rains. Build up the walls to form the inner and outer chamber. Fill the gap between the walls with river sand. This acts as insulation to help keep the chamber cool. The sand between the walls should always be kept moist by watering. Normally two to three steps are built to help with filling and emptying the chamber. The steps are built both on the outside and inside of the chamber. The inside floor is now leveled with river sand. Air is trapped between the grains of river sand and this helps the cooling process. Finally, a thick thatched roof is used to cover the chambers. This helps to stop cool air escaping and prevents the sun warming up the chamber and rain leaking in. If there is no natural shade from a tree, you should build a frame for extra thatching to give you additional protection from strong sun or heavy rain. The cooling chamber is very important because when there is a market glut, it helps keep the tomatoes fresh and I encourage others to copy this for storing tomatoes. So, in summary, choosing the correct site is important, if possible under shade. Measure the site correctly. Dig foundations at least one block deep. Build up the walls of the chambers. Fill the gap between the walls with river sand and make sure this is kept moist. Build some steps on the outside and inside of the chamber to make it easier to put the tomatoes in. Level the inside floor with river sand. Finally, make sure you have a good thick thatched roof and if the chamber is not shaded by a tree, 
build a construction for extra thatching so the chamber is well shaded. If you do a good job, you'll have an asset that the village can use to cool their tomatoes and increase their incomes.